I think the idea, the actual concept of, of Jeremyville is, and it's hard to describe, but I think it's an atmosphere. It's an actual experience, if you will. And I think that's the easiest answer I've been able to uh, arrive at. I think I've always drawn as a child. Uh, I think I, I was in architecture as my education. And at some point, I think I understood that I prefer to operate independently as an artist as opposed to as an architect in an office. I think the inspiration always has to come from A, of your, your inside instincts and your, your thoughts, but to also to observe. I think observation is everything. So for us, we often travel. And I think if you enter into a place, one of the first things that we often do is we'll, we'll ha have a coffee, we'll draw at a cafe, we'll interact with the actual people. And, and through experiences, inspiration is always there. And I think it's in the average, it's in the ordinary. I don't hunt out for the extraordinary. I always hunt out for the odd or the unusual. And I think, um, and then you in interpret that, and then it, it, it comes out through you. Our sketchbook uh, series is all about, I think, um, uh, well, look, I've always drawn in a sketchbook. I think all of us, yeah. every artist has one, but it's always been an actual tool that I use to interact with a, a town. So the actual concept we had is to open up the actual page of, of the sketchbook into an oversized area, an, an actual panel, and, and draw on that for a handful of hours in the open, in the air, and have other people interact with that and observe the actual process. Like I, I've drawn at some places where I'll ask individuals in the crowd for some input as to the objects I ought to draw. And I, I enjoy that in interaction actually, you know, because it's then yeah. inclusive. Yeah, it's no longer just an artwork for you, it's an artwork that others would share. And what's really joyful about that is that you would see little children come up and they come up really close and they, they look at the drawing, but then you have a business person that we are stopping him or her in their day and you can see almost like a smile on their face and they get joy out of it. Yeah. It touches all ages and all backgrounds and I think your art, which may be a solo act, as soon as you bring it into the public domain, it's not to fear it, it's just a, it's a, it's a very natural form of, of expression. And, the, uh, and I think the, the action of actually drawing and creating, uh, and you have no, have no pencil there, have no plan, it's almost like it opens up the opportunity for others who observe that. So I think the idea is to have an inspiration for others to uh, uh, create and hunt for their own expression I internally. And yeah, it was an awesome afternoon. I had heaps of fun. And I think everyone else had fun as well. So that's good. <laughs>